first, ha <laughs> ha, I win. I always win. Apart from when it comes to restraining myself from killing chickens. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, and another. Oh, and another. I could do this all day. You know it's true. Do you know what you could do all day? Subscribe to me by hitting that sub button. I, I know that makes no sense, but I have to fit a shameless plug in somewhere. Now for a story. A long, 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 long time ago, in a distant land called Crazy Craft, there is a series including a load of YouTubers. These YouTubers built crazy houses to match the land. I built a tree. But Lizzie, she built her take on the Disney castle. And I thought it'd be fun today to use some cool mods to give a different look to that castle. Let's get started. So before we can change Lizzie's castle, notice I use change, not improve. We need to build it. So this could take a while. And it did take a while. It took around two hours to build this again. And I couldn't build it exactly how it looked before because I wasn't using some of the mods that we had on Crazy Craft, which is why the windows look different. They're not as cool and turquoisey as they are on Crazy Craft. Also, I'm using cyan concrete instead of the cyan woolen clay, which Lizzie used in Crazy Craft. And honestly, I forgot how big this thing was. It was massive. This took a long time, but I wouldn't have been able to do it without this guy. Mr. Foxy Gaming, you're a legend. Without you and your awesome tutorial, I would never have been able to rebuild this thing as quickly as I did. You're just the best. I love you. But we got it built in the end, and I think it looks pretty good. Pretty similar to how it originally looks. There might be a couple of things wrong. It is not decorated inside, but now we get to change it. So, here it is. The Disney castle in Lizzie's imagination that looks pretty awesome. I actually added in the bit where it sort of goes up here like it did in actual crazy craft instead of just leaving it on a flat ground. And inside everything is the same apart from it's just not decorated. So we've got all the ladders in here. Every ladder leads to somewhere. The layout is basically the same. We've even got the hidden room back here. Very nice. And then we've also got the hidden room back here as well as this section up here as well. I'm not entirely sure if that is completely accurate. People who are crazy craft avid watchers will have to tell me. There's a ladder up there as well. Then we got the staircase up to this big section. Up here, another section. Up here, another section. And it just keeps going. This place is massive. Like, honestly, I forgot. I'm not sure if Lizzie used all of this space. She did, she's insane. So we're actually gonna copy and paste it so we have two of these, and then we're gonna compare the two afterwards on what they look like. Boom, would you look at that? So we're gonna change this one here. I really have to be careful with my words to not use improve. Now the first thing we're gonna change is the pink terracotta to the pink concrete texture that I used in my Disney castle ages ago, which I actually hate, so we're gonna change it back. Instead, we're gonna change it to this color concrete here, which I think looks pretty nice. It's got a bit of texture to it as well, if you look really closely. Looking pretty good. And then next up, we're actually gonna change the roof using chisel and bits to smooth it all out. And let's time lapse that because this could take a long time. I'm honestly a bit scared how long it's gonna take. About 45 minutes is the answer you're looking for. And at first, I really wanted to make a very smooth roof. If you look on the bottom left there, you can kind of see I'm going for this really smooth thing. But then I looked at it, I was just like, no, it doesn't work. So I decided to just make it kind of like stairs level and then add on some extra detail on the roofs, such as this gold here. Lizzie had the gold before of the stairs, but I decided to change it up, add some more like little decorative bits on, add these like gold lines going down parts of these roofs as well and the gold around the edge of it, just to try and make it look a bit different. I didn't want to just sort of replicate what Lizzie had done and just smooth it out. I wanted to change it up a little bit because that was my aim here. Not to improve, but to change and make it look like a completely different build, but still the same build, nonetheless. So we're looking pretty good now, as you can see, I've added these little fancy bits on here and stuff. I think they look pretty good. Next up, we're gonna try and change all the windows. I think we're gonna do this with chisel and bits, so it could take some time, but let me show you what we're gonna go for. First off, we're gonna add a nice white concrete layer around the outside like that. And then we're gonna add in little windows like this using some quartz in the middle and a little bit of detail around the outside as well like so. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. Now to do every other window and there's a lot of windows. I know this is gonna look nice, but it's taken a long time because some windows are really weirdly shaped like this one here. Really done with just the window bit of placing it in. I haven't done the bit around the outside of any of them yet. Like the little detail on the outside. It's probably gonna take a while, but 
I think that's most of the windows filled in, apart from the diamond one, which I'm going to do something special for. And the special thing I'm actually going to do is make it into more of a diamond shape. Not too much so that it looks weird, but just this amount here. There we go. It just looks a bit cleaner. Pretty nice. And now we have to do this bit, which takes the longest. It does look good, but it takes a long time. The problem is... It's really hard to copy and paste as well. And in some places it doesn't work, like here, because of this wall here. So we're going to have to sort of figure that out and remove these walls at some point. Fix all these parts. I enjoy making these custom windows, but this bit is very tedious. A lot of just placing silly bits of blocks. And it annoys me that I can't complete all of them because of these walls. Okay, 30 minutes later, and we're looking good. Ooh, I do like that. Now, the next thing I want to change is this fence bit round here. I actually used a different fence than Lizzie originally used. But still, it used to have these bits here where it just doesn't look amazing. So I'm going to change that. And I'm going to use some chiseling bits. And I'm actually going to change it to gold as I think it would go quite nicely. There we go. A nice little bit of fence there. And we're going to just copy and paste this along. I think that looks pretty good. Although we're going to have to make some corner ones so we can go across here. This bit is the complicated bit. I'm trying to make this work. It's just a bit weird at the moment but I'm trying okay this is extra fiddly but I think we're eventually getting there that took like 15 minutes just to make this diagonal bit here but we should be able to repeat it now with two simple bits like this oh yes there we go lovely oh I've somehow done it lower how did I manage that no one will notice even though I just pointed it out to everybody oops but there we go that looks pretty good I think now I want to try and make this look a little bit more magical so that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna add some details around this maybe some stars. So just some cute little stars like this and we're just going to place them around different parts of the castle. I'm going to make another variant as well so we're going to have quite a bit going around. And I'm not placing them in any sort of pattern. I'm just placing them around randomly. Ooh, that looks cute. I'm happy with that. Let's add some more. So I've gone for a big star but then also some little stars to place around as well. Okay, but seriously, how cute does that look with the stars? Oh my gosh, I love it. I think that's really, really done a good job there. Let's get working on the inside now, shall we? We're going to start off by adding in a little banister onto this staircase here. This is quite precarious at the moment, and I think that could look quite cute. I'm also going to add a few cyan fairy lights in just around the castle. Not too many, as I don't want to overcrowd it. There we go. That's pretty cute. And in our hallway here, we're going to add in some armor stands. Maybe, in fact, a knight, like so. We're even going to add in some carpet, like so. I'm going to switch out some of these torches for lamps as well, so they just look a bit nicer. Right here, I'm going to place a nice fish tank, because I feel like that's a place where a fish tank would go. I'm trying to keep the decor not overly complicated. I think this room here was like Lizzie's chest room, so I think we're going to do that again. But we'll use some custom chests this time. Plus, add in some shulker boxes now. Very simple up here as well, nothing really that we can put up there. Let's make this room over here, the kitchen. I think this was like Lizzie's crafting area and stuff. It does seem like a perfect place to put a kitchen though. So let's put it in right here. We'll place a table on this side of the room here. We have a couple of chairs on it. I quite like how that looks, to be honest. And then, of course, we've got through the paint in here, we've got this secret room, which will be a secret bathroom that nobody knows about. Look at this. Very fancy bathroom. No one knows about this bathroom. So you can come in, have a nice bath in peace while people are eating out here. <laughs> and through this secret painting here, we've got a secret ice cream shop because that's what everybody wants in their castle. And then up at the top is where Lizzie has her gaming setup, as you can see here. She's, I think that's Discord, maybe. And then she's playing Minecraft on this one and just has windows open on this one. And of course, she's got a dance mat as well, even though the screen's a bit close. And I forgot the first room on the left here, when you head up, you've got like the plushy room where you've got loads of dogs who are just chilling out with all their stuffed toys, having a great time. Probably put a trap door in there so they can't just fall down the ladder and escape. And then in this ladder up here, we have a rocking horse on this level and that's it. And then up to the final level, we have a little kid's bedroom where we've got like a wardrobe, some toys, little dresser over here, the bed in the corner. Very cute. If you can't tell, we have a lot of rooms, maybe too many rooms. For example, this room here just has a paddling pool in it. That is all. Now, I know this used to be Lizzie's bedroom, so we're going to try and make it the bedroom again. And then we just added in a little vanity desk. We've got like a wardrobe. It looks pretty cute, I think. Got a nice rug. Not bad, not bad. I like to make my enchantment rooms look very naturey and enchanting, so that's what we've gone for here. I think that looks quite pretty, and the enchanting table works. This will have to be the gym, kind of like the fairy gym the other day. Just 
Got some weights everywhere. And then the final room on this floor will have a pool table and that's it in the middle. Hughes over there. Not really a lot of space, but it'll have to do. And there we go. That's all the rooms decorated. This one's probably my favorite, to be honest. I really like that one. I know a lot of people just still prefer the original, but I don't think mine's that bad. I think I've changed it and done some good changes. So you remember your old Disney castle, don't you? Yeah, it looks just like it. Do you want to see my changed version? Oh, is this my old one? That's the old one, yeah. Oh, you made it better. No, I've not made it better. I've just changed it. The word I'm not using is improved because that would mean that I'm improving something that is already amazing and it can't be improved. Boom. <gasps> That's so much better than mine. It's not better, but it's just like sparkly. Do you like the stars? Yeah. I don't know what came over me. At one point I was like, I'm adding stars. I couldn't stop no, adding stars. It looks so good. Thank you. I like it, it looks sparkly. It is sparkly. I slightly changed the roof, but the basic shape is that I also added this new fence in as well. What did I add before? Just, yeah, it was kind of like that, but not the exact one because this is not crazy craft. So I don't have all the same mods. And then the inside hasn't changed too much. Like I've tried to decorate oh. it. I suck at decorating. Where's my chest room? Is this your chest room? Was that where it was? That's my chest room. I added in some shulker boxes. Where are all the rooms for my girlfriends? Where are they going to live? Oh, I forgot about the girlfriends, but you got your There's dogs. There's so many girlfriends. These are the dogs. This little... They're my girlfriends. Yeah, they're your girlfriends because we don't actually have girlfriends on this mods. Uh, this is your paddling pool room. <gasps> Room before, oh well. There was a secret room. Yeah, that's my right there. Room. Now, now an ice cream parlor. <laughs> uh, Just for me. Yeah, and then upstairs is actually your office uh, secret to get into, and your dance dance revolution machine, which I love. Yeah, too. and then we got the kitchen. Ooh, it's it's very modern. Yeah, I was I was modernizing it. Old kitchen. And then obviously, the secret bathroom, which is okay. in here. So. Does it have the secret tunnel to Joey's house? It does not, because Joey's house isn't here, unfortunately. Uh, where else can we go? We got off here, we got the rocking horse on this floor. I don't know what was there before. Uh, and then we got a little kid's bedroom for Where's when we that? have a child. Where's that? This is in this tower here. That was the rooms for all my girlfriends. There was a oh. horse girl up there. She loved horses. I forgot about That's the girlfriends. It's got a nice bedroom. It's my bedroom. I went for cyan to match the roof. I'm not Scott. Okay, sorry. And then up here is oh, uh, your enchanting area. Wow, this, I think this was an Easter Bunny spawn room. Okay, <laughs> I'll copy you. And... That, this was another girlfriend's room. Oh, right, it's now a gym. Okay. And then you've got you your... something? You're saying I need to go to the no, gym? No, I'm just saying, now you've got... How pull... did you get that all the way up to the top of the tower? Honestly, it took a while, but it's sorted out now. So there you go. Your changed castle. Changed. Changed. Keep using the word changed. Never say improved because I'm not one to improve something that you have built very well. I like it. Thank you. Very sparkly. I just love the sparkles. I love yeah. them so much. Thank you. So there you have it guys. I have finished modding up Lizzie's castle there. Let me know what you think in those comments down below and make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you did enjoy it. That's it for me though. So thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.